Hello everyone, it's Linda from Linda Z's in Arlington Heights, Illinois, ready for another morning of uh, some good fun little ideas and tips to inspire you to get your sewing career and sewing hobby on its way. Well, today I have two little things that I want to show you. One is a, um, it, it came out of kind of a gathering of my family. I had my brothers and sisters that were all together and I decided to do a quick little towel for each one of them in remembrance of what we were doing. So I'm going to show you, and it was done on this great little uh, machine, the Flourish 2. You could easily do this, even in if you have another machine in a five by seven, here's the actual towel that is finished. We had a pizza party and we I just put all the names of the siblings on there and, it, and the dates. So because today as you're, we're getting older, sometimes we aren't meeting as much as what we used to, so it's always kind of fun to remember, and then they each got a towel to take home. So I wanna show you how to do this, because it might be something you wanna do for some cousins, or maybe some girlfriends or boyfriends you're getting together with, or some uh, a group of kids that are having a pizza party at your house or whatever. And I just found this cute little embroidery motif, and then easily can be done on, this is even a five by seven, I did it on the bigger hoop. But because this is a woven fabric, and this is called a blanks, it's got the little um, <clears throat> hook for the towel and it was already done. Now this is finished and you can see, I'm gonna show you the finished ones when we're through. I've torn the, um, the fabric, the stabilizer away from it on the back. But what I did, and it would be cute in a quilt. Can you imagine if you did one block for each quilt and did a different motif? It would be just a really great idea. So this is a woven fabric. So when you're doing a woven fabric and you're doing some computerized quilting, or maybe you're just doing the embroidery first, the stabilizer that we, you would use, and I think you know this by now, would be a water, well, it would be a, a heat and, and stay um, fusible tearaway that you can pull off afterwards. And on the top, what would you use? Because we definitely want something on the top too, especially because it's a woven fabric, you'd use a water soluble. And again, you've seen me do this with the tape, you know, rather than on white, I you could do the lick and stick or the water and put the water soluble on because it won't distort any of the color. But if you're using a colored towel, sometimes you have to be a little careful because the colored towel, if the glue from the water soluble gets on a color, sometimes that might distort it. That's why I always um, try to use a little pink tape, just a little bit to hold the water soluble on the top. And then what I do uh, on a colored towel, um, I just use the water. I mean, on a white towel, I just use the water. I put that, I press that with my Laura Star or any really good hot iron, start in the middle, press out with your stabilizer. Then I hoop the entire uh, design into the towel when it's got the stabilizer on it. And I, you wanna make sure you get it nice and taut and then you put the water soluble on the top there. That's the method, simple, easy. You could do a cute little table runner. You could do a tablecloth. I mean, it'd just be fun things that you can do. But I wanted to give you, we have a lot of these blanks in our store. They're just, uh, and I think they're on the website too. If they aren't, we'll make sure they do get on there. But again, these are wonderful gifts for holidays and when gatherings, when you're coming together. Now, <clears throat> I want to show you something that I've talked about in the past. Um, I carry myself at home, um, <clears throat> and those siblings came into my sewing room. I had only one of my uh, thread uh, shelves clean, so at least one of them was done. I think I have about 50 boxes, of, or maybe not quite that many, but quite a few clear thread boxes that I put all my thread in. And <clears throat> this is one of them. I carry, I have the OESD, the Isocord. I have the Floriani, I carry, um, oh, let's see, what have I got in there, Madeira, um, I, all the brother thread. I mean, I've got quite a bit because I like to mix and match my colors. But if I'm doing a design, and this is something that I want you to know about in your own machines, most of the machines today will let you choose what kind of thread company that you use the most of, or for any design. You can put the settings on the screen, there should be a setting somewhere, where you go in there and choose, like say, say I chose um, this one, which it happens to be Floriani. 
one of the things I love about this, and other companies are doing some of this now too, is that there's a whole big row of threads. And what I do is, um, this is the, these are all the new colors and I'm trying to change mine to make sure I know exactly what colors. I carry just about at home everything that I have because I, my studio at home, I do a lot of um, work, not just in uh, embroidery, but a lot of computerized quilting and I like to use these different colored threads. So I circle the ones that I have. <clears throat> but say that I come into a design like a, um, say there's an OESD design that I pull up and maybe it's a, um, um, well, we've got Halloween up here. So we got some really cute Halloween fabrics I wanna show you. So say that you pull up a Halloween design, maybe a witch or a cute little spooky ghost or whatever. And the colors are in there as, um, they're printed on the sheet as uh, isocord. And maybe you have brother thread or maybe you have Madeira or maybe you have, um, Floriani. Well, let's, let's for the sake of argument, say you have Floriani thread and your sheet is showing you, the sheet that's been printed out is showing you the isocord thread. Well, when you put the stick in, depending on what it is in your machine, whatever setting you've got on, if your sheet shows isocord and you put your settings on Floriani, you can immediately go right through your sheet that they've contact, that, uh, that you've printed out and write the numbers next to it that are on your screen. It's just a great way of being able to use different threads. And so I just write it out on my sheet. I'll put, um, it'll have, be printed out maybe uh, in isocord. They usually print out, I mean, in uh, OESD, they usually print out isocord threads. But if I'm using other threads, I will put the number next to the isocord that I want to use. And then I go look in my boxes. I try to keep them um, <clears throat> numerical. Now on this Floriani thread chart, and I've talked about this many times, if you don't have this, you want it. <clears throat> this is coming in all the numbers. It's all numerical. And so for instance, if it says that you want color number 436, you look over to the right and it says it's in column 14. Then you go right to your page here, 14, you go down the row and see, oh, 436. I don't have that in my stash, so I'm going to want to buy it. I buy it, I circle it, and now I know that I have this gray always in the future for my um, thread. I, this has saved me so much time by knowing exactly what I have, exactly what I want to sew with, and the this little chart in the back here has just been phenomenal. I know Metrazine does the same thing. Um, <clears throat> they have a 40 weight thread also. They, um, most of the companies are doing this now, but I wanted to show you this Floriani one because I happen to have every color that they have the largest uh, <laughs> colors. It's just amazing how much they have. And I use them, I mean, very, I would say in all the boxes I have in, in my um, studio, maybe one or two threads have not been used. So color is really important. And sometimes I don't like the color that they put in here. I did a, uh, in one of my videos, I was doing these fall colors and I did the pumpkin for a pillow and I just let it run because I did it on a 10 needle. And then when I got through, I looked at it and I went, oh, I wish I had put more gold in these gourds or I wish I'd put a little more orange in this one. You can do that. You can. You don't have to use what they suggest. You can go ahead and choose your own colors, and that's part of the creativity too. If you're just doing a quick project, you don't want to think. Yeah, use their colors. Then you know they they're they're graphic designers. They are digitizers. They know what they're doing. But sometimes your color is just a little bit different, and it's okay too. So that's kind of where I wanted to go. Um, <clears throat> try some of these. I think they'll be fun. Um, we've had people use these for wine bottle covers. We've had them uh, cut them up and use them as table runners. I mean, there's just an, a, a numerous amount of things you can do. The other thing I wanted to show you is these Halloween fabrics. They are just so much fun. <clears throat> the, the problem that happens with these uh, seasonal fabrics, first of all, I think everybody knows about the back order situation. It's almost impossible to get. We ordered these nine months ago. We are now getting them in. Um, so what happens is when we tell people we have them in, boom, they're gone. I almost hesitate to even put them on our website, but I think I might. We put our Thanksgiving ones on and um, 
we put those on before this because we got them first and now most of them are gone. So I would go ahead and, um, I mean, just look at how cute they are. <clears throat> what I love when they do these is they, some of these, they put the glitz in there. On this one with the little spooky cats and the witches and the pumpkin, the black and white. Black and white seems to be a really big one for Halloween right now. There's all the glitz in here, which is really, it just sparkles a little bit. There's no glitz on this one, but it's um, got neon colors. And if you look at them closely, they're really, really fun. I love the skeletons. They almost look happy. You know, they're dancing and they're just really having a fun, uh, fun time. So uh, they would make wonderful napkins. They make great tablecloths. The spiders are always fun for kids. And oh my goodness, I don't know if I put these, although bats are supposed to be helpful sometimes, but these are, really scary bats, so I don't want those. <laughs> but you can do whatever you want. You'll find that they're really, really fun. Now, some notions that I want to show you that are new that have come in. You know, we do a lot with Sally Tomato because we do a lot of our purses. And she's got the rose gold. Rose gold, of course, these are the zippers that, with the zipper holders, the um, chain, um, the, the hardware, I think is just wonderful. The, um, the two inch grommets, which again are really, really fun to have. These are black. I think they're on the, with the white, they just look wonderful. And these are just a regular gold with white, just really, really pretty colors. The blue is with the black also. So some really, really fun things. There are new scissors that have come. Now I will tell you, this one is mine, so I don't know how many we're gonna have left, but I, I do a lot of paper cutting, so I do, you know, especially with all my stabilizers, I like to use the Fiskars for that. But I love these new colors. They're just really fabulous, and I believe those will be on the website. This is a new duck bill. I have not tried it. I will tell you, I have another duck bill that I've shown in a lot of my uh, videos, and I just think it's great. Um, this is Havel, and Havel makes a wonderful scissor, so I'm sure it, it's going to be a wonderful one, too. I just happen to have these with me because I was, um, I was trimming some things and you know, this is just a really, you can just feel a scissor when you uh, touch it. It's got the bigger holes for the fingers that are real easy to get in and clip. In my little Pandora's box here, they gave me a couple of other fun things. This is called Be Mine. It's just darling. Now, this um, isn't just necessarily for Valentine's, it's for someone who you want to show some real love to and a little child would be just absolutely fabulous. And the whole project, it's got the uh, pattern, the mailbox, the little, um, that, so a child could play with this. Just a really cute package and very, very reasonable. Then um, we have some of the Kimberbell. And you know, Kimberbell has come up with so many fun new colors that I just think they're wonderful. This is the leather, the embroidery leather is like a pink. Um, this is the Mylar sheets in a smaller amount so you don't have to buy too much. And this again, this is the um, kind of a navy leather. And of course this wonderful sparkle and look at she's done that with the um, uh, watermelon which for would be fun for summer. And then again, that would be the rind around the watermelon. Um, we have a couple more of the Sally Tomato. I wasn't going to pull them out a lot, but I think I will because the rose gold has been so good. Here's a two inch um, whole ring too that's more square. And this is just a beautiful one, a wine red with the rose gold. Um, and this is white with rose gold. So we have lots of Sally Tomatoes. And these are, you can never have too many of these cute little uh, Kimberbell hoops, uh, just a great little gift. A lot of times I've seen people make up a little hello, happy birthday, little, this is a little gingerbread, and just hand it to somebody with a gift card and just a real simple little thing. So lots of ideas for your um, information for your, um, your gifts. Now, um, we have some fabulous new classes coming up. Our new Club 22 starts in September. We have a lot of people. It says it now? It starts now? Okay. <laughs> it started already. <laughs> I know they're filming in September. And I saw one of the films that they're doing. Um, 
I was going to do one and then I saw what they were doing and I thought, oh no, you're so much better. I'm not going to do mine. So uh, we have some really, really fun things in store for you. This video is to give you, hopefully it's inspiring you. That's what I'm, and, and I, I'm, I do this because I really do want to keep our customers involved and having fun and you know don't let your sewing go it's just a, a really wonderful stress-free time to be able to just sit down and take your mind off of everything and do a couple little things whereas our clubs are step by step by step we want to go into it in more depth um you know i i did a, a pumpkin quilt that i'm trying to um put together and I believe I'm gonna put that in one of our clubs because I think it would be really fun for you. I try to show a, um, a quilt kit each time. And the quilt that's behind me, Nick, isn't that a um, part of one of the quilt classes that they're going to be uh, doing? It's just a gorgeous, like kind of crazy. It's over. Already. It's over? Crazy quilt, but maybe <laughs> Yeah, if, they, if somebody really likes this, I've had a lot of people talk to me about that quilt. And, um, you know, it's always good to have a step-by-step -step class because that's how you really learn. I think that the hands-on part, even with virtual, it's harder. I, I will say that. I think virtual, sometimes, yes, you can stop the camera. You can, you know, say, okay, now I'm going to do this. But there's nothing like being there in person. Personally, that's the way I feel. But these little videos, I hope, are inspiring you to come in and take some of those classes. So if you're something that you see that you know is over and you want it repeated, let us know, and we'll be more than happy to do that. So again, thanks, everyone. I appreciate your um, response to all these. Give us some comments. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see that you're not seeing. There's so much out there. I, I, I could literally spend uh, 24 hours a day just figuring out all the things that I'm doing. I've been doing this Flourish. Um, this is the Flourish 2 by Baby Lock, and I've just fallen in love with it. It is just such a beautiful little machine, and you can take it to class. It's an embroidery-only machine, but it's got the big and the small. Well, that's not real small. You can get a smaller hoop, too. But it, it really does just about everything you need. So, um, And if you want to do big jacket backs, you can take it into software, and you can do something that they call splitting, and you can actually do the big designs with this machine too. So it's got a colored screen, it's got the um, sizing on it. It's just a really great machine and it's on big time special. So call the store or look on our website. Um, I believe there's something in the store that is there's some little package with it. So give us a call. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about it. And again, thanks for all of your um, attention and uh, have a great week sewing. Thanks, everyone.